Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As I often do here, what I'm going to do in this video is take a brand new game that's sealed, open it up and see what's inside, and then actually check out the gameplay footage to see if the game is any good. What I have here today is called Der Falscher Band Off Der Spur. <laughs> it's a detective spiel. It's a German. It's a detective adventure game. Uh, this sort of thing's interesting to you. If you like seeing games opened up, that have never been seen the light of day before, see what's inside, check out some gameplay footage, and you're already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe now, click the notification icon, so you can be notified the next time there's a video like this, which is usually pretty often. So, again, this is a game which, uh, there was a series called TKKG, which, um, I guess each one of the letters stands for a different uh, person in this, this kid's detective club, and... Luckily, it says here very clearly the game is in Deutsch and English. So, you know, the box is all in German. They did not make a, an English box for this game, unfortunately. The game itself can be played either in German or in English, and I believe with full voice in either language that you choose. And I did a game once, uh, I did a video previously on this, the fourth game in this series, which some other long name, which I don't remember, with Dragon or something like that. I'll put a link to that so you can, you can check that one out. But this is the sixth game in the, in the series. And I unfortunately have no idea what it's about. I could have looked it up and tried to translate it, but your guess is as good as mine. It looks like the kids are hiding. There's some guy maybe in an, in an actor, you know, an opera or an acting place. You know, you can see the the dramatic mask. They're trying to break in, and uh, but I don't know what it's about. I mean, I can try to read it. Like it says, like Tut Berlin, Carl Aber die Goldschein sind Lieder gefalscht. Wie bitte, Frau Belheim. Okay, I, I can't read this. I'm. <laughs> I mean, I can read it, but I'm just going to butcher the German language, and I feel bad doing that. So without further ado, let's open this thing up and see what's inside. It's actually pretty heavy, by the way, so I, I don't know what's in here, but I guess we'll find out in a second. I got my uh, sort of big knife, not as big as the one I sometimes have. Let's see if I can just make a couple of cuts and get this thing open. There we go. Okay. Now a couple of the sides, and that should be sufficient, as usual, to open it up. Let us see what we see inside this box. Der Falscher Band Off Der Spur. All right, so that, this could be why it's heavy, because it's a really big, heavy cardboard thing inside. And when you open that up, oh, there's actually some stuff in here. I don't know what this is. It's a, a postcard? Yeah, it's a postcard. Uh, for Tivola with this woman. I don't know who this is supposed to be, but she's a postcard of her. There's a catalog. Oh, wow. A cool catalog. I'll look at that quickly in a second. There's a disc with demos. Tivola often did this. They give you an extra disc with demos on it so you can check out a lot of their other games. And you can see there's a lot of different games that are of some form or another probably on this disc. And they did a really good job with that. And then here's the actual game in the jewel case. So here's the CD. CD looks good. Um, I'll take this out, but obviously it'll be in German, so we won't really be able to understand it. At least I won't. Um, but installation, who the kids are, how to play. It says you can switch between German and, and British English. That's good. And uh, basically that's it, I think. So that's the manual. Let's take a look at the uh, catalog quickly. Tivola had a cool thing. You'll see this probably when I run the game. In the beginning of the game, they always had this cool like animation with like all these little animals like marching onto the screen. This looks like one of them. I don't know what mouse is, some kind of educational title. A lot of these are probably educational, but some of these are like start to hover around the realm of like kids' adventures, like this Max thing, which did come in English. A whole bunch of Max titles. I don't think I ever played any of them. And there's things like this Snow White and the Seven Hansels. It's a, it's a German here. Um, a bunch of these titles, like some of them are, are uh, a lot of them are in English. So it says in Dutch and English. A lot of them are adventure games, but some of them are for very young kids and some of them are for older kids. It's hard to tell actually, like what would actually be interesting to play. Like Oscar the Balloonist, a whole bunch more Oscar games. Billy, I, ha I have some of these, but I don't have all of them. And again, partially it's because it's really hard to tell, like before you buy them if they're actually going to be, like, you know, kids' games or adult games or what. Webmaster, I know I have. Robinson Crusoe, I have. 
the little prints I definitely don't have. I never like the little prints. Uncle Albert, I have some of these. Here's some of the TKKG ones. I guess an ad for number seven, the new one. This is number six. And then they have a whole bunch of other ones here, all the ones until then. So lots of different games that these guys made. And uh, that's pretty much it for the catalog. But it's, wow, a lot of demos you can check out. So without further ado, let's check out the actual game and see what it looks like. All right, so here we have TKKG6, Der Falscher Band Off Der Spur. And first it starts off with the cool Tivola intro music. Do do do, do 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 If you ever play a Tivola game, you'll always hear that music many, many times, and it's pretty, pretty fun. And now you get to choose between uh, German or English, so I uh, will pick English. British English, of course. And now we have the intro, and we get to see the, uh, the English title of the game, which is The Forged 50s. <clears throat> so it's too bad to just say that in the box, The Forged 50s. There's probably more people to play this game. By the way, there's no way to skip the intro, unfortunately. Um, you have to watch the whole thing. And first I have to pick, put my name in here, and... Uh, I picked, I, I, I logged it already once as Stu, so I'll make it Stu 2 this time. Just so you can see the intro, uh, even though you may not want to. Uh, by the way, this game runs Ted fine under Windows 10. Um, it just, it's no, it's full just screen it's basically by default. The only way to get to run a window is to use DXWND, DXWIND. So other than that, it runs fine in a window. Especially uh, what's going on here right now on this intro screen is this guy in the middle with the glasses, oh, sorry, Kevin, Kevin, is trying to buy a telescope. But these notes and uh, he finds out that the money he used to pay for them they just took out of the bank but are I've forged uh, bank the notes. Bank. So now he's not too happy about it. Then we better go now, straight back and exchange This is a very nicely it's animated intro sequence. That, and the I'm sound is fine and the voice acting is fine. The, the issue I have My with it is that the they all sort of sound a little bit like they're, Inspector Crocker. Um, I don't know, very low-key, like on volume maybe? almost. It's like, oh no, I have, my banknotes are forged. Hi, Whatever shall That's I okay, do? Baby. Let me call We've my father, the police Ken was officer. Some forged and at the bank. they just, there's no sense of urgency, That's really. And uh, oh, if I'm a kid hand, playing I'm really this, I'm probably going to get really bored oh, really quickly. Even as, I mean, as an adult, I get bored, honestly, Kevin during this intro. I sort of wish I could skip it. Notes have been but all over the you place can't really recently. do that, so we even you just got to forge on and wait until this is over. But yeah, I mean, to have a little bit of a level of intensity here would. Would have been a little bit more we had appreciated. To let it go. We couldn't prove anything. So he's talking now about he has a suspect, and even though a big they had to let her go because there were no leads. Oh, well. so these are all clues, obviously, you're supposed to I'll use to figure on, out, Katie. you know, what to do during the actual game. And now they decide to go well, and solve this mystery if themselves. This isn't a case for TKKG. Um, unfortunately, they're not quite as dynamic, course, even as we'll claim the reward. And <laughs> I don't know any other child-solving mystery group that I've ever seen. Where do we begin? We have to go back to the bank I got the forged notes so, from. Anyway, I, I really would like to skip this intro, but unfortunately you can't. And what about can't. the copy shop? So, I guess the other thing I'll say about this is... They've got a fantastic I figured out when I was playing this copier. game that unfortunately... These guys don't okay. actually... Even though Let's they're supposed go. to be a team, they don't actually work together. Done. They're not like Scooby-Doo that goes together. Maybe they split up when they get to the place. So, when you get to the intro screen, the main screen of the game, which is this one, you actually have to choose which one of the characters you want to go and, you know, basically investigate that whatever place you're going to. And it also doesn't tell you where you're going. So, you mouse around the, the place here and you'll get, um, you know, basically a picture and that's it. Now, I wanted to go to the bank to check out the notes, like just to talk to the guy and say, hey, you give me counterfeit, you know, money. And uh, I don't know why I keep saying notes, because they say notes in the game. I want to say to the guy, like, hey, you gave me counterfeit money. So I first have to find where the bank is. And it turns out this picture here looks like a like a newsstand. When you click on it, the bank is actually there as well. Um, so it's right here next to it. I don't know how you're Hello, supposed Mrs. to know Paper. that without trial and error experimentation. Hello, I heard he was Mrs. Paper, Has apparently. Has TKKG got another case to solve? Yes. We're on the trail of a gang of forgers. I don't know why you have to tell her that. Like, why is it to talk, like, say we're on a trail of a gang of forgers? Do they want to keep a low profile or something? 
Anyway, so you go into the bank, and this is the guy here, like the information guy you can talk to. But hello, can I help at all? So can I help? He's very professional and nice. And uh, then when you click on him, what happens is you have a choice between two different things to say. When you, would ho when you hover over these question marks, it'll say them in different uh, tones. Or actually, it'll give you different options of what to say, like I said before. Watch this. Do you remember a friend of mine withdrawing 150 pounds from his savings account today? You must have heard about that gang of forgers. So those are the two How options. Forged notes turned up here recently. So let's say I say this thing about you must have heard of the gang of forgers. Many forger, the forged notes turned up here. They haven't passed through my hands, but I check all big notes anyway. Do you see how the watermark shows up under the UV lamp? This one, for example, is genuine. So that's that's basically all that he'll tell you. You can't interact with him any further. So you got like one clue and that's it. I, I've seen later on these people, like this old way you can leave and you can speak to these people also. But basically, in each location you go to, you can do sort of very minimal, and minimally. And this guy didn't really, wasn't very helpful. But if I leave now and go back to the main screen, I can, let's say, go as Kevin. Each one of these, this is like Tiger, this is Kevin, this is Katie, I forget this guy's name, Grunter or something. So if I go back to the same location, I'll get different responses Hello, from both the, her and the guy inside. Hello, Kevin. Are you picking up your dad's paper? That's not really why I'm here. Someone gave me some forged money, and now TKKG are looking for the forgers. They still sound very laid back and like, I don't know, not very exciting people. Now this guy will actually recognize you and tell and uh, call you by name and we'll see. Well, did you get your telescope, Kevin? You saved up for it long enough. Unfortunately not. The money's gone. The notes were forged. So that's what I'll say to start with. By the way, there's so much background noise in this room. I mean, a bank's supposed to be noisy, but it would, it would be nicer if you could turn down the background noise a little bit. Is there, a, is there any money left in my savings account? Can you explain how forged notes came to be paid out here in the first place? So that's the choice I'll pick. No. I wouldn't have thought it possible. I check every note first. So he shows Most you again. Most already failed the watermark test, and that can be easily checked under an ultraviolet light. Of course, there are other characteristics too. So again, that's all this guy will do for you. And there are, if I if I leave and come back, I may be able to get some different stuff going on here. Like I'll leave here and go back in. And now they can talk to these people because that old lady is gone, and this guy's not here anymore. So there, there are things you can do. But basically, you have to. It seems like you have to go all around the town and use different people and go to different places and see what different results you get. With her, I get something totally different. So anyway, I'm not going to keep on playing where you get the idea, but you have to eventually go and figure out what's going on by going to all these locations, gathering clues, and then uh, solving the problem. Actually, I wonder if you can. If I can lower this background noise. That definitely lowered the music, but I don't know if that'll make the, the volume any louder. Let me try that and see what happens here. Alright, so now she, she, she has a completely different conversation, of course. As I notice when you go in the bank, the guy is, is a little bit uh, too uh, forthcoming for my taste. Like but you'll see that in a second. TKKG is looking for and I don't get why they have to tell every single person that they're looking for forgers. Like, or why they keep telling this person? Maybe that's their best friend? I don't know. Here's the bank. Ah, oh, hello there, young lady. My, you are a breath of fresh air. So... I guess maybe that did help the audio mix a little bit. Not that much, but a little bit. Do you know much about banknotes? Do you talk like that to all the women who come to your counter? Pick this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Only when they're as pretty as you. Look how his, his eyebrows are going up there when he says that stuff. I don't know if that's uh, his normal facial characteristic or related to what he was saying. But anyway, you get the idea of the game. That's, like, that's enough for now. I'm curious if you have if you guys have ever played this, please let me know in the comment section. But I'm assuming most of you probably haven't. Just let me know what you think about the game. And if you like this type of video, if you don't like the game itself, because the game looks a little bit boring, to be completely honest, but I'm going to play through it at some point, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please hit like on the video, and please let me know what you think. And we'll do this again soon. So thanks very much, everybody, and have a great day.